You don't have much time. Your wife is about to go into labor and you're in here wasting time. Will you with her or not? If you lie to me, I can't help you. But if you tell me the truth, I promise you'll be able to make it into the labor room in time. All right, I'll do it. Put it on paper. And scene. How was that? Andrew, I still don't understand why we have to sneak around like this. Why can't you just tell your family what we're doing? There's nothing wrong with it. I try, but they just brush it off like it's a hobby or a side job. They're satisfied with me teaching an English board class and coaching the students bowling league. Can we just let it go? Okay, fine. I'll let it go. What you did was great. Let's go over it one more time. Okay. Look, Jacob, you don't have much time. Your wife is in the labor room and you're in here wasting time. Were you with her or not? If you lie to me, I can't help you. But if you tell me the truth, I promise I'll be able to get you into the labor room in time and sing. Very good. Just slow it down a bit. Remember, you have been interrogating him for four hours now. Use that in your delivery, but overall, very good. I think you're ready. You think so? Absolutely. I mean, you see why your service was very high in demand. <laughs> Hi. Who is she? Oh, she's a professional babysitter. Just moved into the area looking for work. I'm considering changing the one we have. <laughs> You're so funny. That's not gonna happen. Why are you so nosy? She's just a woman who was lost, so I helped her map some directions. First of all, I am irreplaceable, okay? Get it? Irreplaceable. So, scratch that. Besides, what kind of woman doesn't have a smartphone? I mean, she looks smart. Smart people have smartphones. Uh... Too easy. Don't you have something to do? Like a diaper to change? I mean, it smells really bad. Walk through life. Every day is a new beginning. Shine your light. It's a day and the world is waiting. Move along to the song singing in your soul. Feel the beat, clap your hands, let it take control. All you need are... What are you doing? Dancing, feeling good about life. Dude, that, that's so weird. That's not you. Whatever. How's Megan? Was it her that needed to be changed or you? It was her. And besides, she's sleeping. And why are you so happy? And why are you home so early? Didn't you have to like coach today or something? No, not today. We had a uh, cut practice short so the kids can get ready for playoffs this weekend. <laughs> Did you just say playoffs? Yeah. Andrew, who are you trying to kid? You coach bowling. That's a hobby, not a sport. You guys don't have finals or playoffs. Nikki, Nikki, Nikki. I will have you know that the most primitive form of bowling can be dated back to the Roman Empire and ancient Egypt. I mean, this has been about 2,000 years ago. A similar game, tossing one stone object to the next stone object, became popular here 
It's September 9th, 1995 in New York City. And now, now it's enjoyed by 95 million people worldwide. I mean, you know, I mean, they enjoy it through mediums such as video games, smartphones. Smartphones. It sounds like your culture popular old hobby to me. Oh, all right. Don't you have something to do? Like a paper to write or eyebrows to shave? I mean, I'll be in my office. I got stuff to do. Yeah. Working on the playoff plays, oh. right, coach? She annoys me. Gosh, no messages and no new emails. What am I supposed to do to get booked around here? Hi, Nikki. Hi, Deborah. How are you? I'm good. Is Andrew home? I passed by the house and he didn't answer. Is he home? Um, he should be taking a nap Ooh. right now. That's why we're out here. Oh my gosh, she's so big. I can't believe it's been two years already. I know, time flies. Yeah. Okay, well, I just came by to drop this off for Andrew. Can you make sure he gets it? All right, I will. Okay, gotta run. See you, Bye. take care. Thanks, Nikki. You're not welcome. Are you going out? No. I can't find my keys anywhere. Nikki, is Drew here? I thought I saw his car outside. Yes, ma'am. He's in the bedroom. He's on the phone. He said that he had to cut practice short because of playoffs or something. Playoffs? <laughs> Drew coaches bowling. They don't have playoffs. Oh, Drew. Drill, drill, drill. Yeah, I know. Hello? Anybody home? Oh! Hi, Antonio. Uh, how did you get in? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, the door was cracked. I tapped on it and opened. Um, I promise I didn't see anything. Why not? I mean, I don't mind. <laughs> Wait, what did you say? Nothing, silly. Come on in. Do you want something to drink? Peach Chirac, Grey Goosey. The Batermans don't drink, but I got a little secret stash in my room. I, I, um, I got a lot on my route today. Mr. Batterman was my first drop. Um, maybe next time. Okay, uh, well, till next time then. I knew I should have gotten Spanish drinks like Jupina or tequila. Nikki! Nikki! What is your problem? Why are you shouting like that? Was that Antonio? Is that my yes. boss? Yeah, uh, no. First of all, I am not your slave or your child. I agreed to be a living nanny for Megan, and so she's three and a half years old. I am not Gina. So when you decide to- What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. Ask him. <laughs> hey, babe. Hi, Papa Bear. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. What was that all about? Ah, uh, you know, she just never had a man call her name like that before. <laughs> You're silly. Oh, <laughs> uh, why are you home so early? Well, the census on our floor was low and they actually wanted to go home early. Oh. So, I decided to come and make you a special dinner. You gonna cook? Uh, no, silly. I want to <laughs> take out my specialty. Oh. But can you do me a favor? Sure. When they come, can you tip them? Oh, for me? yeah, absolutely. I'm about to go running with Amanda. All right. Mm. Bye, baby. Bye, baby. All right. Work it all out. Oh, girl, I am so glad I was able to get off work early so we're not running so late in the evening. It is, and it does feel nice to be out while the sun is still out. Girl. Oh. Hey, Amanda. What's up? Are you okay? You seem a bit off to me. I don't know. It's Tom. What's wrong? He's out of town again, and it's for the third time this month. I just... I don't know. I don't know if it's all for work, you know? 
Come on, Amanda. You know, we married the hardest working men on campus. They're always on the go, thinking of new ideas or starting a new business. I'm sure it's nothing. I just don't know, but it feels like he's not even there. He's always on the phone, and when I'm with him, it's like he's not present. Well, one thing I know is that both of our men love us, and I don't want to do anything to jeopardize what you guys have. I guess. Come on. <laughs> you know what? You're right. I don't even know what I'm worried about. I mean, he does love me. I'm sure he actually is thinking about me right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Girl, you are a mess. Mm. Come on, let's finish these miles strong. Okay. shape. Oh, me Oof. too. Must have hey. been that cake. Yes. Oh my gosh. Hey, baby. I'm hungry. Where have you been? I was running with Aunt Gina. Hey, Aunt Gina. I would hug you, but you're a little sweaty. Oh, you're funny. Oh my gosh. Well, you know what? I have to go home. My dinner should be ready by now, too. Okay. Well, let's go and cook dinner then, all right? Bye. I'll call you on the weekend to go shopping. Okay, love. Give me one second. Andrew. Yeah, I need to see you. Do you have time? No, I need to see you now. Is there a place we can meet? I got time now. Why tomorrow? Okay. All right. All right, fine. Long has he? Have you? Have, have have has he been here? Uh, not long. Oh, hey. Forty-two fifty, sir. Okay. Here you go. D do you want any change? No, no, that's fine. I'm there. Nikki, I don't know what you think you heard, but it's not what you're thinking. Really, Andrew? What am I thinking? I mean, I'm not thinking that I'm working for a lying, selfish, cheating boss. No, not that at all. That's that's never crossed my mind. Listen to me. It's complicated, all right? Just don't mention nothing to Gina. My focus is Megan, not you nor Gina. Ooh, I see the dinner has arrived. And no one can order better than I can. I'm so hungry. Andrew! Yeah? Where are you going? I was just checking to make sure the door was locked. Okay, baby. Well, how about you? Have a seat. Appreciate it. And let me serve you. So, Nikki, how was Megan today? She was great. You know, at this age, all they do is eat and sleep. That's true. But I think when she grows up, she's going to look just like you. When she's awake, she has the most beautiful features. Aww. Until her bowels move. Then she's like her father. Nasty, smelling, lying. Babe, babe, babe. How was your job today? It was, it was good. <laughs> you know we went an extra three miles today? Yeah? Yeah, if we keep this up, we're gonna be at five miles by next uh, month. Oh my gosh, me and Tom are gonna have to hire a special security guard to follow you guys and keep you guys nice and protected. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, Amanda thinks Tom's cheating on her. Really? Yeah, he's been going out of town a lot lately. I don't know. You know, I told her you and Tom are like in so many ways, so she shouldn't yeah. even worry about like twins. Quiet. Did you hear that? What? Sounds like Megan's crying. No, I checked on her before I came down here. She's sleeping like an angel. In the devil's house. No, my ears are better than yours, and it sounds like it's a diarrhea of the mouth. I mean, diarrhea cry. Wait, did she have that earlier? Nope, just started. Well, let me go check. No, babe, sit. Relax, you've been working all day. Take the load off. Nikki will handle it. Yeah, I'll check. 
Okay, well, Nikki, just let me know if you need Damn, my help. She's not gonna need your help. She's got this. Okay. okay. She's got this. Mm -hmm. Man, you all did yourself a dinner tonight. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, man, why, why are you so tense? What's wrong with you? Mm, that feels so good. Yeah. Why don't you let the doctor check you out? I figure out what's going on. Baby? Yeah. Are you sure Megan's okay? She's fine. I mean, Nikki's checking on her. I, I know. It's just... Sometimes I feel like we don't spend enough time with our daughter. Oh, gosh. We're going to have that bill until she's about 18 years old. And if she don't get a scholarship, we're going to have it even longer. Oh, my that, That's not funny. <laughs> Yes, it is. She's a bill. No. Like, you know? No, she, she's not a bill. She's our child. You know, some of your jokes have hidden meanings behind it, and I don't like it. Not one bit. Okay, okay, okay. Here, sit down. Listen, sit. Come on, relax. We talked about this. Not stressing is the reason why we hired a living babysitter in the first place. Mm, yeah, you're right. Oh, come on. The doctor's always right. Uh, just let me check. All right. Go check. I gotta make a run, I'll be back, okay? Okay. She was done with it. Hey, coach. What happened? Coach, we have a problem. What's the problem? Kevin forgot his shoes. Oh my gosh, why do we have the most irresponsible captain on our team? Look, we're just not gonna bowl him. Coach, we can't do that. He has a 210 bowling average. Oh, that's right. Do you have shoes? Yes. How much are they? About $59. 210, Coach, we need them. All right, let's go. It's amazing how she got well so soon. She was fine. I guess Andrew's ears are not the only thing that needs to be cleaned out. It seems like you and Drew have been having some issues lately. Nikki, is something bothering you? Kinda. Look, I just want you to know that you are such a blessing to have in our home. Thank you, Miss Batterman. It means a lot. No, seriously. And if anything bothers you, and I mean anything, I want you to feel comfortable letting me know. I don't have an issue per se, it's just, I don't feel like it's my place to say. Wait, what does that mean? Is something going on with you, Andrew? <laughs> Heck no. Why, has he tried to make a pass at you? Did he try to touch you? No, no ma'am, it's not that at all. It's just, I overheard him on the phone the other day and it did not sound like business. Oh, you mean a female friend. Look, Drew has a lot of those, but he, I love him, and I trust him. Well, it's just that when I got home Thursday, there was a woman here. And when I asked him about her, he said he was just giving her directions. And then he made a comment that seemed really personal. All right, you know what? We're just gonna drop it here, okay? All righty. Could there be any truth to what Nikki's saying? I love him. I trust him. He wouldn't, he wouldn't betray our family. Would he? God, give me strength. <clears throat> Was there anything sweet for me to eat? Oh, hey, babe. You got anything sweet for me? No. Besides, it smells like you had enough sweets for the night. What? Oh, Nikki. Oh, man, I overslept. Oh, my gosh. I hate Mondays, and I hate being an extra.
Am I the only one who can approve payroll chronos? <laughs> Look, today's supposed to be mommy daughter day. I have plans to take Megan to the park. Fine, I'll be there as soon as I can. Uh, what was that about? Is everything okay? No, everything's not okay. I have to go into work and approve payroll. It should only take a couple of hours, but can you watch Megan for me? <laughs> Wait, no, you know that I scheduled my final exam today because you were off and I would have at least six hours undisturbed. I understand that, but didn't you just now hear- what am I supposed to do? I can't take the test and watch Megan. Nikki, it'll only be for a couple of hours and I promise you I'll get back as fast as I can. So take her with you if it's only for a couple of hours. I'm sure your coworkers want to meet her. Nikki, I work at a hospital, home of all the colds and disease you can think of. I can't take the risk of making catching something. That's where she was born, the hospital, and she didn't arrive there sick. Stop with the nonsense, please. Sorry, the same. Look, I promise you, it'll only take a couple of hours, and I'm sure your professor will understand, okay? Thank you so much. You're not welcome. Did you forget your keys again? No, I don't have any keys. <laughs> Hello? Are you okay? And I'm Eric Carey. I'm in the time now on this Wednesday, 8.56, and we've got some things out there that could impact your morning commute. Let's get right over to Kelly. Yeah, okay. If by things you mean ponies, five of them, then correct. Right now, there are five ponies on the loose, but you're taking a look at... Go in style in the new facade. Now only one forty nine a month or zero down. Or go turbocharge to the new Tiguan SUV. 159 a month or zero down. The quality you You're fine. I mean, I'm fine. I just thought I heard the baby crying or something. How are you? Uh, I'm okay. Are you going out? No. Why? You look so dressed up this early in the morning. Really? Thank you. Um, I'm not going out. I just have a virtual class. But if you're looking for Mr. Batterman, he's not here right now. Um, Mr. Batterman called me yesterday, and he asked me to pick up a brown package for him. Uh, I was just on my way to go work out. I saw Gina's car outside. I figured I'd just stop by and pick it up. Oh, you can take it. You can take it over and over and over. Okay, um, Gina said that it was behind the sofa, a uh, long brown uh, box. Oh, you're talking about this big, long brown box? I'm sure it is. Yeah, thank you. Uh, see you later. Wait, 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 what's the rush? Can we just sit and talk about delivering mail? Your job must be so exciting. <laughs> um, delivering mail is pretty boring, and I got a really uh, busy day ahead of me. David's out sick, and I have to cover for him. Perhaps another time. So what time do you get off today? Today? 7 p.m. So can we grab coffee then, since you don't drink? I didn't say I don't drink. I just don't drink this early in the morning. Oh. <laughs> I totally understand. So, see you Saturday? Okay, super. I just ordered myself a grande poppy latte with extra caramel muscles. Mm, mm, good. Wait, wait. Antonio was here? Yeah, oh my god, girl. He came in his workout clothes. You're so cute. Oh my god, I couldn't do it. No. New message. Hey, Coach Andrew. This is assistant coach Billy. Sorry you missed the word ceremony. Uh, the boys came in second and the girls came in first place in the district. Julia really put her foot in those chili fries. No. Shh. No. How could you miss the award ceremony? Where did he go? <laughs> Probably to a real party or a real event. <sighs> bowling sucks. No, Kim, Andrew loves bowling. It's a sport to him, and he, he wouldn't miss any part of it. A sport? <laughs> yeah, let's, let's not even go there. Um, let's just pretend like we didn't hear anything, okay? okay? Hi, Drew. Sorry I missed your call this morning. I know we were supposed to meet up tonight, but I can't make it. I just wanted to let you know that you were amazing Saturday night. 
I don't want to believe it's true, but but all signs point to it, Mama. I think you're you're overreacting. Don't don't let the devil come into your mind and fill it with thoughts that are just wrong. But what if it's true? What if there is someone else? I mean, he has been acting strange lately. Private emails, late night conversations, a private mailman service. There must be a reason. There's a reason for everything. Have you asked him? Have you asked him why all these private services and private emails? No. No. Andrew, Andrew is a nice man. He's always shown me and our family respect and care. I think mm -mm, there's no truth for any of this. I, I really don't. Mm -mm. I, I just don't know what to believe. I mean, what man leaves his wife to go chase other women? I have a job. I take care of him. I clean the house. I cook for him. You cook? Mama, this is not funny. <laughs> I know, honey. All I can say is pray. A man and a woman is joined by God not to bring heartache and pain. Pray? You want me to pray? My husband is having an affair with another woman and you want me to pray? What should I say? How should I do, do it? Dear God, why me? No, no, not why you. You should say, Lord, please help me. See, when you leave prayer out of your life and your home, confusion sets in, honey. Believe me. So, I think, I really think you're overreacting. You need to relax. Let me make you some tea, okay? Hey, babe. How's it going today? You all right? Mm -hmm. How was the park with Megan? Did you have a good time? Did you get to relax? Do everything yeah. you need to do? You don't have any more tea bags. I, I know. Oh, hey, hey Ma. How are you? How are you doing? Good, good. How's everything? I'm good. I'm good. What are you doing here? Came to see my granddaughter. Oh, you're the best grandma ever. So, how was work here? Right. Oh, man, work was good. Except for the fight. We had two kids get into a fight today over some Dr. Dre headphones. I mean, you would have thought... Dr. Dre was in a building the way those kids was carrying on and on about. Really? Yeah, so was that what got you sick and you had to go home early? What are you talking about? I didn't go home early. I was at work today. You liar! Nikki heard Coach Bailey on your private answering machine talking about you went home early. So where have you been, Drew? Why was where? Nikki listening to my messages? You know what? It's okay. Let me explain. No. Who is she? I know her name is Danny because she left a message, by the way. What are you talking about? How long has this been going on? I mean, how could you do this to our family? To us, to me, to Megan? Why are you yelling at me? Why are you bringing Megan into this? I never did anything to hurt you. Or her. I love her more than anything. Oh, come on. No, really. You always tell me to trust you. You always tell me you trust me. Well, love me and trust me now. I never did anything to you. I love you. So where have you been, Drew? Why weren't you at work? What's this? Lori, you won't understand. Fine. Run to her. Go ahead and leave your real family for some trash instead of being a real man. Just go. A real man? I am a real man. You never listened to me. You never supported me. Listen to you? Support you? What are you talking about? So you get caught cheating and now you try to put this on me? Oh, not today, Drew, not today. I never cheated on you, but you're just gonna go on believing what you want to believe. I'm out. Oh, life. That's not worth Gina. I am so sorry. Honey, it's going to be okay. Why don't we pray a little? Mom, I don't want to pray. I just want to be alone. 
Okay. I didn't mean to start any trouble, Miss Wilson. It's fine, Nikki. They'll be fine. God doesn't make any mistakes. Andrew, you went through all of that this weekend? Why did you leave the house? I told you, you're going to have to tell her what we're doing. All right, all right. Stop keeping secrets from your wife. You married her, so therefore she's entitled to all of you. Not only will you want her to know. Whose side are you on anyway? I mean, I said, all right, this is the reason why I left the house in the first place. I mean, I came here, must I hear from you too? Why would you even call me to come here? I'm sorry, I'm not trying to take sides. I just know what it's like to be kept in the dark, so I can relate to what your wife is going through. Okay, all right. I actually called you because I got two calls about you. Okay. Remember the audition you went on last week? Yeah. They decided to go with another actor. They felt he was a better fit. Huh. I'm sorry. Of course, of course you're sorry, because that's all I get. One step forward and 10 steps back. So it's been my life. Just the story of my life. Andrew, I got, I said I got two calls about you. Okay, let me guess. The one, the audition I'm supposed to go on next week, they decided to go with someone else too, right? Right, that's it, come on, right. Tell me it's right. Andrew, Star Seed Productions called me. They want you to be the lead role for the new show called Southern Streets. They start filming in Georgia next week. Are you serious? Yes. Are you serious? Yes. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Congratulations. I'm so proud of you. Thank you so much. I'm so proud of you. So much. Oh Why are you crying? Why are you crying? God has finally answered my prayer. I've been wanting this all my life. Why did such good news have to come on such a bad day? Andrew, you can fix this, okay? You can fix this. I believe in you, you can fix this. What, what am I supposed to do? What truth am I supposed to go and tell them? that all my life I wanted to be an actor, but yet I was built for football? Who's gonna believe that? You can't go home to them and tell them that. None of that is gonna happen anymore, okay? You have I'm to a joke. No, you're not. No, you're not. You have to get yourself together, okay? You're gonna do this. No one will ever, ever say anything like that about you ever again, okay? You need to get yourself together, okay? What we need to do now is go over the lines, okay? First thing is I need to confirm with them. And after that, you're golden. All right. Okay? All right, let's go. Here are the lines. Take a look at it first. Get yourself familiar with it. Girl, you're late. I know. There's a major drama at the house this weekend. 
and I feel totally responsible for all of it. I feel like maybe I should have just kept my mouth shut. What do you mean? <laughs> Nikki, what happened? Well, I kind of sort of told Miss Batterman about that private message we heard on Andrew's machine. Yeah. What? And it caused major issues. And basically, I just feel like the troublemaker in the house that just can't be trusted anymore. Look, Nikki, don't be so harsh on yourself. We sometimes find ourselves in compromising situations. We just have to make a decision and hope it's the right one. I know. I just feel really, really bad. It's okay. Well, did you reschedule your exam? I'm still waiting to hear back from the professor. Um, you know, actually, I still haven't received anything. Wait a second, you've got to be kidding me. It's Mr. Batterman, who I think he's cheating with. Why would he come here? Really, are you sure? Look. That's definitely him. Yeah, you're right. And she's like really cute too. <laughs> I know. Well, it looks like they're in a meeting. Or maybe not. See? <laughs> That is not a meeting handshake. That is a, ooh, baby, I'm gonna make you scream my name and shh, shh. We're in a family coffee shop. I mean, I just don't get it. Why would he do that? He has a beautiful wife and an adorable daughter at home. And I just hope, never mind. Stop doing that, Nikki. What happened? Nothing, I just, I just hope that if they do get a divorce, I can still work for them. You know I need the money. And I like Megan. <laughs> what? Okay, okay. This chai tea is so dynamic. It reminds me about the first... Oh, please, 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 stop, stop, stop. No one wants to hear that. Hear what? What I was gonna say, it reminds me about the first time I had that dessert to leches that I... You young people are always thinking filthy thoughts. Anyway, <laughs> this chai tea made me fall in love. Wait, Mama, is that Andrew? Andrew? No, that's not my sweet Andrew. His back is turned to us and he's really into that girl. You're just thinking about him. On our way here, you said the dog looked, <laughs> looked like him. No, I said, there goes your son-in-law, and I pointed at the... You know what? Never mind. Mama, that's true. I know my man. A woman knows her man. Well, there's only one way to find out. So is this her? Huh? Is this your new love? Is she the reason you've been acting different? What is wrong with you, woman? Look, I came here with my mother. How did you even know tea. I was here? I didn't know you were here, but I come here and find you with some hussy? Answer me! Hey, look, go home. This is not the time or the place, so Gina, go oh, I'm home. Gina, this is not what this hey, is. No, you're not talking. I didn't ask you. Now, like I said, go home. See, I'm not going anywhere. You are my husband before God, man, or woman. So you're gonna answer me. And as far as I'm concerned, I don't even have a home to go to. My mother is here. My husband is here. So this is my home. You know what? I don't need this. I'm out of here, man. Oh, no, you're not going anywhere. Sit down. You're going to answer me. So how could you do this to me, huh? How could you do this to us? Answer me, Andrew Stevenson. Better me. I got nothing to say to you. Where do you think you're going? Don't turn your back on me. What? What are you guys doing here? So that's just it, right? Everyone is against me, right? I was born by myself and I'll die by myself. No one understands me, no one supports me. You know, I don't need you. I don't need you, you, or any one of you. No, that's where you're wrong, son. We're here for you, not against you. God designs our lives with a support group, whether we like it or not. From preschool teachers to college professors, God is in it. Your abilities, your skills, God granted the wisdoms to someone to teach you what you now know. And if we all fail you, we fail God.
like a star beyond the reach. But I dream to find it seems the time. I'm giving all this love to me. It's my breakthrough. Believing all my dreams come true. You know, you can't just hide out here forever. I'm sure Megan misses you a lot. Yeah, I know. I miss her too. A lot. But you know what else I miss? I miss my sofa, because yours is oh so old and lumpy, you know it what? hurts. <laughs> I love my couch. It fits me perfectly. Oh, gosh. So what do you think I'm supposed to do? How do I fix this? Well. You have to come clean. You have to tell her the truth about everything. I'm sure she'll understand. Okay. And do it quickly, because you messing with my single lifestyle. <laughs> you don't got no singles lifestyle. <laughs> All right, I'm going to tell mom. All my dreams come true. It's my Okay, uh, let me call you right back now, too. Yeah. Hey, Mr. Bradner, how's it going? Hey, what are you doing here? Your sister hired me through Nikki Services, so I've just been helping her out. Oh, okay. Well, she's inside the house. I actually wanted to talk to you, though, for a second. Okay. Um, I know you've been kind of going through some turmoil and whatnot with your family and all, and um, you know, I, I know how valuable it is to have a support system like that. And uh, you know, I just want to say, when, when things get tough, just, just trust them. Okay. Thanks, man. No problem. Later. Hey, Timmy. You're in big trouble. Mom, the liar's here. Timmy? What? Hi, Andrew. Hey. My apologies for my son's loud mouth. Sorry, Mr. Batterman. Mm-hmm. Well, let me go get Gina for you. Thank you. You're right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the private phone calls, the sneaky email services, and the and all of the lies. The truth is, Danny, she's an acting coach. She's she's been giving me lessons on the weekends and some evenings. I've just been trying to become an actor. I've been doing background work and but it just has not seemed to work. If it's not one thing, it's another. Everything just is not working. Why did you hide it from me? Every time I mentioned it in the past, you made it seem like it was a hobby and not a, and not a career. Acting is my passion. I want it to be a career and not a hobby. I'm sorry, I need you. You don't understand. Andrew, that's how you made it look. You never once said acting was a passion of yours. Yes. Papa Bear, I'm your number one fan. So whether you want to act or coach or sit at home all day, I'm still going to be your number one fan. Thank you so much. I have an audition coming up, and knowing that you're on my side means the world to me. Baby, I'm here for you. I love you. I support you. I want the best for you and our family, so if acting is really your passion, then I'll do whatever I have to do to make sure your dreams come true. Thank you. I love you. I love you too.
Suzette, please send Andrew Batterman in. Thanks. Andrew? Yeah. She'll see you now. Oh, thank you. Good luck. Thanks. Appreciate it. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine, fine. How are you? Very good. Uh, shall we begin? Yes. Okay. Look right into the camera. State your first and last name, height, and character you're auditioning for. Okay. Andrew Batterman, 5'10", The Detective. Okay, great. We'll be reading from page 36. Your character just ran into his old college girlfriend and immediately sparks fly. Okay. Go ahead. Tracy, is that you? How long has it been? About five years. Oh, my gosh. How's mom? Oh, man. Family is great. Family is great. You look amazing. Oh, do you remember that ice cream parlor we went to a while ago? <laughs> I'm still a fan of Oreos. Oh, my favorite, my favorite. Oh, Trace, we should definitely go out tonight. Can I pick you up later around 8 o'clock? Oh, I would love that. Yeah. All right, see you then. And scene. Very good. Wow, you're a natural. Thank you. I'll call the executive producer and share my thoughts. Thanks okay. so much for your time. Okay, great. Thank you so much. This has been a passion of mine for such a long time since I was young. So to finally be able to have my opportunity is great. Thank you so much. Okay, Thank great. You. Drive right. safe. Thanks. Bye. Bye-bye. Hi, Jim. Andrew just left his audition. He did very well. He was calm, confident, and prepared. Um, however, his look isn't exactly as we discussed. He lost some weight and he just doesn't have that star look. I have someone who will work perfectly. I'll email you his information. Okay. Bye. Oh, sorry. I forgot my glasses. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> Thanks. And again, awesome job. Thank you. Thanks. You know what? I might not look like a star to you or have the physique of what you think you're looking for, but because you sit in a seat of power you think you can determine my faith, you're wrong. God determines my faith. He has placed me on this earth for something greater than I, for a project that I don't even know. But one thing I know is that I'm putting my trust in him. And in everything, he's gonna make a way and he's gonna open up my door for me to be successful. I might not look like a star to you or even be right for this project, but one thing you can't take away from me and that's my passion for the arts. I've been doing acting and production for a long time, since a very young age. And because you feel like you sit in a seat of power, you can determine one's fate, you're wrong. 
My faith is not in your hands. It's in the hands of God. And you know what? One day I'm going to write a stage play. And on that day, I'm going to cast myself as the main character and I'm going to let the world know what you did to me this day. And on that day, I'm going to look out at the audience. I'm going to see a man who's in agreement, and I'm going to say, you can make it happen. Then I'm going to see a woman holding her son's hand and I'm going to say it's possible. On that beautiful day, I'm going to let the world know today you have witnessed my breakthrough. Wow, Andrew, that was amazing. Thank you. Yeah, good job, big bro. Thank you so much. Awesome. Excellent job, Mr. Batterman. Thanks, it was really man. moving. Awesome, man. I'm glad you liked By it. By the way, that Nikki girl you had did not look anything like me at all. I'm like a thousand times cuter. I mean, I don't know why you just didn't cast me. I can act. I needed somebody who showers on the right <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. Stop laughing. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, Hi I'm you? Jerry David. Nice to meet you. Good to meet you too. Awesome, awesome. Did you enjoy the show? I really enjoyed the show. I thought you did awesome. a terrific job. Thank you so much. Listen, while I was looking at it, taking notes, I was thinking, would you like to uh, develop a television program? Absolutely. You know, I'm a writer and a television producer. That's great. So I'd love to have you. Oh. But I tell you what, here's my card. Okay. Uh, when you get a chance, give me a call. But I'm going to be leaving town soon. Okay. So let's do it. All right. Absolutely. Thank Bye -bye you. Bye now. Pleasure meeting you. Thank you. God has already written the script for my success. I just need to read it. But instead, what we have a tendency to do, we bless ourselves with excuses and reasons why we can't break through. But not me. Not anymore. I'm gonna stop dreaming and start doing. It's not gonna be easy, but no one said it will. To be successful is going to be painful. You will never be successful until you turn your pain into your greatness. Until you allow your pain to push you from where you are to where you need to be. Don't run from the pain, embrace it. Your pain is a part of your blessing. Whatever your passion is, don't allow the barriers of life to hold you back. Break through. To be a doctor, you must break through medical school. To be a lawyer, you must break through law school. To be a great musician, you must break through tough rehearsals. To be a dancer, a model, a photographer, a director, or even an actor, you must break through closed doors, auditions, negative people, and all the no's. Go and ask God for your script, because if you don't, you will be an extra in someone else's movie when God wants you to play the lead. Your time is now. So say yes to all the challenges. Say yes to all the disappointments. Say yes to all the pain. And say yes to the lack of resources. Say yes to the lack of money. Say yes to the lack of team members and family. And finally, Say no to delay.